this video is to talk about the real number system and to give you a creative little way of remembering the number system categories and where numbers go. So if you are in my current class, you are going to turn to the back of your packet and use one of the blank pages to follow along with my fancy artwork. So what I'm gonna do is first draw a ground level and then I'm going to start drawing a building. And it's gonna be a big building, but this building is also going to have a basement. Okay, so you have a ground floor and you have a basement of a building. I'm gonna draw a little happy person over here that's like, hey, let me in the building, let me in the building. Well, when you get to the building, he's gonna have options where he's either gonna have to go to the main floor or he's gonna have to go downstairs. And this is because all real numbers fit into two different categories. They either are either this or that. And so we'll give him a mental test and we find out that he is a little bit crazy, so he's gonna have to go downstairs where the irrational numbers go, right? And I say a little bit crazy because we say that all irrational numbers are a little bit crazy. They go on and on with no end in sight, no pattern, and no repetition. And our most famous irrational number, of course, is pi. Right, so we'll just pretend that this guy went down in the basement because he didn't pass the test. We found out he's crazy. So the irrational numbers are in a category of their own. They do not get to go into the building. They only get to go in the basement. Now, if he were to pass the test and be rational, you know, have somewhat normalcy, expressed as a fraction, be a number that ends, repeats, shows a pattern, anything like that, would be able to enter the first floor as a rational number. But rational numbers then break into their own smaller categories. So irrational is one of their own. Numbers are either rational or irrational. If they're irrational, that's all they are, irrational and real, because all numbers are real. But if you're rational, you can be three other different types. So let's talk about them. First, we have numbers that can be seen on a number line, which are integers. And integers are all positive and negative numbers that do not have decimals. No decimals. We'll write it. No decimals. Okay? So you're rational numbers, but then if you are a number that doesn't have a decimal, you can level up to integers and hang out on that floor, which has a much better view, okay? But it doesn't stop at integers because there's more categories. So we can go up to this next level where it's a smaller group of numbers that are still integers and they're still rational, but they don't have any negatives. They are whole numbers. And I'm going to put the little line there, like this is a zero, to show that that's where whole numbers begin. Zero, one, two, dot, 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 and so on. Okay? So there's no negativity in the whole numbers. Right? So if you're negative, you can't go up to this floor over here. No way, Jose, can't do it, because negative is integers, not whole numbers. Okay? But we don't stop there because there's whole numbers and then there's this like super elite group of people that are not negative and they're not zeros, they're heroes. They are our counting numbers, natural numbers. And they start at one, two, three, and go on and on and on to infinity, okay? So your natural numbers here at the rooftop party now, just hanging out because they're the elite group. Natural numbers had to pass through whole to get there, and they also had to pass through integer to get there, and they also had to pass through rational to get there, which means natural numbers are also whole, also integer, and also rational. So I like to write this like this to help me remember
the categories and that if I'm all the way up here at natural, well then I must have passed through whole, integer, and rational to get there. So I am all of these if I'm natural. Now if I'm a whole number, I am also integer and rational because I had to pass through to get there, but I'm not quite natural, at least not all of me, because I'm not good enough to get up to the natural four. And the same goes for integer. I'm an integer, so I pass through rational, which means that I'm an integer and I'm also rational, but I'm not whole because I have negativity, or I might have negativity, and I'm not natural, so I couldn't get all the way up there. So let's put some guests at the party and see where we can place them. If we have Joe Schmo and he is negative seven is his name. Negative seven, where can he go? He approaches the front door. Well, let's give him the test. Is he irrational? Is he totally crazy and going on and on forever and ever? Nope, just negative seven. He's rational, so he might enter the building. Yay, negative seven. But there's nothing going on down here. The party's upstairs, so let's see. How far can we go? Is negative seven an integer? Yes, it is, because it has no decimals. And then I want to keep going and jump up. Can I bring negative seven up to the whole floor? Nope, no negativity on the holy floor doesn't work. Okay, so that means negative seven can be classified as an integer and rational and of course real, but that's it. Let's try zero. Can Mr. Zero get up to the rooftop party? Let's find out. Bring zero here. Is zero rational or irrational? Well, it doesn't have a crazy decimal. It's not a never ending weird number. So it is rational. Zero can hang out on the first floor. Is zero an integer? A number that does not have a decimal? Indeed, zero can go on the second floor. Can zero go up to the whole floor? Yes, it can because it's included in our number set. So zero's chilling on the third floor. But can zero get up to the rooftop party? No, because the natural numbers start at one and it doesn't include zero. Okay, so that's how that would go. Need to remember that all natural numbers had to pass through these categories to get there, so they are also these three categories. Okay, and an integer is a number that has negativity, so it's also rational, but it's not whole or natural because it didn't quite get up there. So that is how I remember the real number system and how I can categorize my numbers. A little silly, but that's just me, you know. I do things. And if you need to remember the levels, you can write it down like that. Help you remember rational, integer, whole, natural. I used to say newer because I just sound it out and that helped me remember the order that they go in but that's that hopefully my silly little creative system helps you to remember and if you have any questions you know where to go take care